the Cape Quick Cash checking stories, making news as you head out the door. Tax day officially mm -hmm. is gone. Yep. But you've got those tax documents on hand, right? What do you do? That's right. So we're asking a question on your mind. When should you get rid of those mm -hmm. tax documents? Well, Kix Lily Wu is live right now helping us answer that question. Good morning, Lily. Well, Gloria and Jamel, experts suggest that you keep those tax documents for seven years. So we're in 2015 right now. Anything before 2008, well, they suggest that you get rid of it properly. And the best way to get rid of it properly is by using a shredder like this, this personal shredder right here. Well, if you had any of the bank documents that you needed to prepare your tax returns, well, they suggest that you use it and shred it right here in a shredder. Again, they also suggest to keep documents for seven years. So that means that we're in 2015 and you should keep those documents until 2022. Reporting live in Northwest Wichita, Lily Wu, Cake News. Good advice, Lily. Also making news this Thursday, Governor Brownback plans to sign a bill putting new rules on how people spend welfare money. State cash assistance no longer could be used at movie theaters, nail salons, and psychics offices. A Northeast Kansas music teacher is accused of molesting at least two young students. Police in Overland Park says Sean Dow taught lessons at his home, then started working at a music store. We're waiting to learn what caused a busy Salina truck stop to catch fire. The fire marshal says the trouble at Flying J started in an outside shed, which contained highly flammable chemicals. Police say Florida postal worker Douglas Hughes violated restricted airspace in Washington. He flew a gyrocopter onto the grounds of the Capitol. Air defense systems never picked up on the copter. A former police chief in suburban Atlanta has been indicted for the shooting of his wife in their bed. William McCollum is accused of reckless conduct, which could put him in jail for a year. She is paralyzed. The government warns about four kinds of kind Snack bars. The Food and Drug Administration wants the word natural taken off labels because four flavors have too much natural saturated fat. The journal Neurology reports heavy snoring can do negative things to your memory. Breathing problems during sleep time seems to bring on Alzheimer's disease earlier, so you need to get it checked with a sleep doctor. Also, here is a look at Emporia, a little bit foggy mm -hmm. in that area of Cake Land, so you need to be careful. Give yourself plenty of time.